Hello, I'm Tina Valentine. I'm an English language arts teacher at Crossings Christian School and an OERB master teacher. Today's lesson, Fingerprinting and Investigator's Guide, is brought to you by the people of Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. So let's get started. Okay, so starting off with fingerprinting, uh, let's take a look at our wonder why question. So our wonder why question, have you ever wondered why people have different patterns in their fingerprints? Our concept is that students will discover their own unique fingerprint and be able to identify the patterns in the print. So the patterns we're looking at today are going to be the loop, the whirl, and the arch. Um, the materials that we're going to need today, uh, you're going to be needing a hand lens. If you don't have one, you can make one uh, using a Ziploc baggie. Um, you're going to need an ink pad. Uh, you're going to need note cards, copy paper, you're going to need tape, you're going to need some balloons, and a Play-Doh. You will also need a Sharpie marker and probably some Clorox hand wipes because this can become very messy. Okay, so starting off, um, we're going to start off with the graphite, uh, making graphite prints. Uh, so this is always good if you don't have an ink pad. Just take a note card and take a pencil. Rub it on there, make it really nice and dark. Um, then we're going to take our hand, we're going to make an outline of it on uh, a paper um, so that you can see the outline of your hand. Um, and then we're going to start collecting our fingerprints. So we will take um, our graphite pad, rub our finger on it, get it on there nice and dark, and then you're going to take tape. Put it over your thumbprint, get on there nice, and then put it on to your picture. So you'll do that for all of your fingers. And when you get finished, it should look like this right here. Okay? So you should have all of your fingers printed. And then we are going to do the same thing um, with the ink pad. So we're going to take our ink pad, open it up. And then we're going to imprint our ink pad. Same thing, I'm going to take my hand drawing, I'm going to draw it onto a sheet of paper, and then I'm going to print onto it. So I'll just print my finger, and then I'll put it on to the paper. So I'll do that for every one of my fingers. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to have prints uh, on my paper as well. Okay, so this is where I'm going to take time uh, to investigate and clean up. Uh, investigate your fingerprints. So take five to ten minutes investigating the patterns um, in your fingerprints. You'll probably notice that the, the ones that are printed in ink are going to be a little bit a larger, more defined, probably going to be able to see the patterns a little more quickly, but you can still do it with the graphite and the tape. Okay, so we're just trying to train you so that when you get ready to take fingerprints uh, for other people, you'll be uh, an expert in this matter. So you're going to take your hand lens or the one that you made in the Ziploc baggie and really investigate. Take time uh, to investigate uh, your fingerprints. So I notice in my fingerprints uh, I have uh, a couple of loops and some arches. Uh, and I notice that when I look in all of my fingerprints, um, there is a loop and arch in all of my fingerprints. Okay, so just again, take that time to look uh, closely at your fingerprints. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing um, with the balloon. Uh, so the balloon is kind of fun. Uh, you can take the balloon, um, take it into your ink, put it onto your balloon, and then you will blow the balloon up. And then it just it magnifies uh, your print. So it's really very nice a print on the balloon that you can see. Uh, you can even take your Sharpie marker uh, and go over it, over all of the fingerprints, and make it a little bit of an art project as well. So uh, that would be a lot of fun as well. Okay, so the next activity is definitely getting your family involved. Uh, you will get two note cards out. So everybody will get two note cards. Uh, they will take it on the blank side and we're going to print a thumbprint, right thumbprint, onto each card. Uh, one card, we are going to have each person in the family 
uh, write their name on the card, or you can write their name on the card. The second card is where we're going to kind of keep it a little bit on the side, and we're going to put a number or a code on it. Now, we don't have to tell the family member what that number or code is. As a matter of fact, we don't want to do that. Uh, we want to keep uh, maybe a little secret spy folder uh, where we have all of our information um, in there. So I would take my one card. My name is Tina, so I'm going to put Tina on my card. And then I'm just going to come up with a random number code, uh, 4TR, uh, just so I can kind of be kind of a spy guy with it. So I've got uh, my name card and then my number card. This card I'm not going to show anybody. I'm going to keep it in my file folder, nice and secret. Um, then you should end up with cards for everybody in the family. So you, maybe um, a sister or a brother um, or another a family member. She have all of these uh, prints of the family members. So have them set them out. Let them investigate with hand lens. Uh, with the Ziploc baggie, uh, talk about what patterns they see. Again, we're using the loop, the whirl, and the arch. Then we might come up with a little mini mystery uh, for the family to solve. So we might want to say uh, someone uh, took the last Snickers and they left a print, and we're going to investigate. And I might randomly pull out uh, one of my code cards, and it happens to be 8GF. And the, the, nobody in the family knows what that means. So they have to get back out all the name cards and investigate and look and try to find which one has the same pattern. So find out who took that last Snickers. Uh, so you can come up with any scenario you wanted, um, you know, any fun thing uh, for your family. That could come up with a, a nice family game uh, for your family to play. So that would be kind of fun to do. Okay. Um, on our fingerprints, so we know our body makes oil and then we know that we have little ridges on the ends of our fingertips to help us grip things with the ridges and the oil every time we touch something we leave fingerprints so a good way to investigate those ridges well when we fingerprint that's what we see is the ridges but another way to kind of see that is also through uh, some play-doh so you would just give everybody a piece of play-doh uh, put it into a ball and then with a clean finger uh, kind of have them stamp um, their uh, thumbprint into the Play-Doh. You can investigate and look at those ridges. Uh, so another, just another fun way to be looking at fingerprinting. Um, a couple of connections that I want to make uh, for you. Uh, we said that this video is made to you, uh, brought to you from the people of OERB. Uh, so one connection uh, would be a petroleum uh, geologist. Uh, so petroleum geologists, just like you looking at your fingerprints, they're looking for patterns in the layers of rock beneath the ground. So they're looking for, in those patterns of rock, is in places that we might find oil and gas. And so this little pocket right here, uh, they said, hey, we think that that uh, might be a potential area uh, that we might drill for oil and gas. Okay, so they're, again, they're just looking at patterns, patterns that might have that oil and gas available. Down here, we see a little shift in the earth uh, where there might be another potential area uh, for them to maybe keep an eye on. Okay, so petroleum geologists uh, for OERB. Another quick connection um, would be to art. Uh, you know, what fun things can you do in art? So if you go look on Pinterest, um, there are some fun ideas for you to do with fingerprinting and art. Um, here's my creation. Um, I just did a flower and a butterfly. Uh, so this might be a good time where you might get out uh, your other colors of ink or maybe even paint uh, so that you could do uh, some different colors with that. Um, there's also a connection um, with math. Uh, you could do uh, some multiplication or addition uh, with fingerprinting in math. Another one is reading a great book. Uh, that you might choose is Officer Panda. He's a fingerprint detective by Ashley Crowley. So it might be a fun fiction book to read. And then a fun nonfiction book uh, might be this one. Um, it is called A Fingerprint, What Makes Me Unique, Biology for Kids. Uh, so that might be a great connection uh, that you might want to be looking at. Um, some research that you might uh, do, go onto the internet uh, with your uh, parents' permission. 
um, and look at fingerprinting. There are so many great ideas uh, for fingerprinting. Uh, you might want to even look further uh, in investigating uh, some different classifications. So we looked at the loop, the world, and the arch, but there's even uh, more detailed, specific uh, fingerprinting classifications that you could look at. You could also go to OERB.com and uh, look up petroleum uh, geologists and find out what they do uh, to further investigate, maybe looking at layers of rocks. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there is a contest that we are having. Um, so if you'll go on to this link right here, it will pull up this page right here. I uh, just want to show your creative fingerprint creation. So whatever it might be, maybe it's art, maybe it's math, maybe you wrote a story. Um, this is a really uh, neat idea. This person took their fingerprint and then wrote uh, some characteristics of themselves and drew some pictures in the fingerprint. So that's kind of cool. So whatever you would like to do, if you will do that, um, if you will go on Instagram or Facebook and tag um, at OERBOK, -okay. uh, if yours is chosen, you will win a prize. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it.